Hello there, uh, Andrew Jackson here, uh, another SolidWorks tutorial, um, this one on how to model a three-sided surface with using um, true four-sided surfaces. So I've created a form here with uh, three distinct boundaries as you can see, and I want to fill that in. Um, so one approach might be just to um, put a uh, boundary surface over the top of that which two directions there two curves there one on the one edge on the third direction will make that tangent okay now looking just looking at those zebra stripes you can see already they're all falling down into one point like a collapsed edge a singularity so boundary surfaces normally have four sides so that one's got one side that's collapsed into one point so that's why those zebra stripes run down into a point like that uh, this is not an ideal way to model for a number of reasons if we knit that all together if we tried to uh, offset offset that knitted, knitted surface set of surfaces offset it outwards See what happens. Okay, can't offset it one millimetre. Let's try that. No, can't can't offset that either. 0.5? No. Alright, so obviously the computer struggles to offset things where there's a singularity. Because it doesn't know what to do with it. So it offset it inwards but not outwards. Um which is not ideal. If we want to use this uh, surface to create a thin shelled plastic housing or something like that it's not going to be good so let's see what happens if we offset this, that surface just by itself okay so that will work so that collapse that singularity is starting to expand out as you can see now if we insert um, face curves which uh, we're about so that so if you insert 3D sketch, you can insert uh, sketch tools. So, no, sorry, there they are, face curves. Okay, so still you can see all those. I say lines running straight down onto that pointy end of the surface. So we'll delete that, we'll delete the uh, three-sided boundary. Now what we want to do is recreate this using a true four-sided surface, either a boundary or a loft. So to do that we need to define the other boundary which is missing at the moment. If we insert a um, plane, Okay, insert a plane, offset from the front. So we will sketch sketch our other boundary on the plane too there. Okay, do the plane, insert sketch. Oh, I'm gonna sketch an arc. PS point relationships on each end with the edge. And go okay. So the other end is 40. So maybe we can make this a bit flatter. 50. Okay, insert surface. We'll use a loft. Sometimes boundary surfaces don't give a very they can give a bit of a wrinkly result. And also with a loft. Hold on. Okay, select the other edges. And we're gonna pull them back. You know how to use the selection manager and then pin pin an endpoint to a cross curve. Okay, so we want tangency to face on the one edge. 
Hit OK. All right, so that's that's part of our uh, solution there. Okay, so now we still have, if you notice, we still have a three-sided surface at the end. But what we're going to do is we're going to trim back the four-sided surface we just made to create a four-sided boundary. So we're just going to create a trim using a sketch. Just going to constrain the sketch a bit. Put some dimensions on there as well. So this isn't really cheating, because it leaves us with... Our base surfaces are four-sided and they're not collapsed. There's no collapsed edges. So this surface I'm trimming now is a tr true four-sided surface with nice, the uh, edges are similar in length to each other. Okay, so there we have the trim sketch. So we're gonna use that, surf that sketch to trim the loft that we made just before. There we go. So now you can see we've got one, two, three, four boundaries. So we're going to knit these all together, just so I don't have to uh, use Selection Manager. Okay, insert. <coughs> Excuse me. Surface. We'll use the boundary surface this time. Select our boundaries. First direction. Second direction. Once I can pick it, there we go. Oh no, there we go. Now we can set up tangencies. Okay, you can see there the flow of the ISO lines. Nothing's running down into a point. They're all fairly equal and evenly spaced, which is ideal. Especially if we want to offset these surfaces later. Okay, you can see the zebra stripes there. There's a bit of a wiggle. We might have to add a cross curve to control the form. Always play around with the tangent influences first just to see what's going on. And we'll knit those together. Yeah, you can see a few wrinkles in there. Turn the combs on. Curvature combs, you can see there's a bit of a kick at each end on the red. So if you mess around with the tangent influences, swap the other one, other direction down to 0%, sometimes it solves that direction, but now the blue's got a kink in it. That's right, the blue direction there, we can put a cross curve across there. So we probably want to roll back, low before the boundary surface, insert a plane. So I'll pick the midpoint on each of these edges, and the other midpoint, and then select, select the right plane, normal to the right plane, perpendicular, and we'll sketch on there. Now we, we'll just use an arc again, with a pierce point relationship on each end. I need to insert sketch tools intersection curve, so I can make our arc tangent to that construction there. Pierce point relationship, and then we'll change the intersection curve to contraction. Okay, edit the boundary surface. And then we want to add our cross curve there. Alright, you can see there it straightened out the blue graph quite a bit. Okay, knit everything together. And we should see if we can offset this. Remember before when I did it, everything with one boundary with three sides, we couldn't offset outwards any number. We couldn't. There we go, one mil. Okay, perfect. Okay, so we're offsetting one mil. See if we can go to two millimeters. Awesome. We couldn't do that before. 
So now you can see the advantage of using true four sided surfaces. Okay, three doesn't like that. Back to two. So there you go. That's another tutorial. Andrew Jackson, AJ Design Studio. Three side surfacing and solid works. Thanks for watching.